five tips about focusing coming up. Hi there, my name is Peter Vorsgaard and I am a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And in this video I'm going to talk about a few tips and tricks about autofocus and manual focus. Some of them might be familiar to you, but you know, there are always new viewers that hasn't be, has not seen the older videos, so I hope this is helpful for you. Let's start with the first one. Don't forget to use manual focus help. You can have the camera magnify the photo or the, the scene that you're photographing when you turn the manual focus ring or the focus ring or focusing ring, it actually is focusing ring, then the image will be magnified on your screen, either EVF or the LCD. And that really helps you to nail that focus. And then of course, focus peaking is a great way to help you to nail that focus. And you can change the color of the peaking. And remember, this is also a great way to, to kind of estimate how much there is depth of field in your image. You can see how far the peaking colors go. That gives you an estimate at how much depth of field there is. Very handy way of, of checking out that. And then the second tip, use face priority when photographing people. That will help a lot. You don't need to do do this. Yeah, my new camera. I will make a video about that. Anybody knows what camera this is? It's an Olympus, but what camera is it? Please let me know in the comments down below if you know what it is. So you don't have to move your camera every time when you when you are trying to to uh, photograph a person and 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 have the focus in the face because that's usually where you want to have it. And also a tip about the face priority. Always use the eye priority on that because then it will focus on the eye. And especially if you have glasses like me, sometimes it might focus a bit too front if you have really, really dark and strong or, or uh, thick um, glasses, then it will focus on the glasses. At least the Olympus camera's face priority sometimes might do that. And if you're doing really close up portraits and you're using, let's say, f1.2, it might be a bit off the focusing. But if you have the eye priority on, it will focus in the eye and that will nail the focus. And it's really fast when you don't have to, you know, move the camera when, when photographing a face or a portrait. And then there is one feature that uh, you can turn on is full-time AF, which means that if you have continuous autofocus, you don't have to press the uh, shutter button halfway in order the, to the camera to start focusing. You can just move the camera and it will focus to the uh, focusing point area without having to press the uh, shutter button. And that might be sometimes handy. I've really not used it that much, but it might be handy sometimes to use that. If, if, if you want to be really fast, if you're walking around, you might want to do that. Like street photography, you might want to do that. It, it might be a bit f faster. And then there is one tip that combines autofocus and exposure. Is that you can assign in some Olympus uh, bodies, you can assign so that the uh, exposure is measured from the focusing point. And that's also when I was talking about the face priority, it will... Uh, make the exposure from from the face, which is usually the thing that you want if you're photographing uh, people. So that's another good reason to, to use face priority. And if you combine the autofocus to the, fo uh, the, to the exposure point, then that will help. Because usually the thing that we're focusing, we have a subject there and we want to nail the focus on the subject. And also we want to nail the exposure on the subject. So we have less uh, things to do in post, if we can get it right in the camera or as close as possible in the camera. So connecting the exposure metering to the focusing point is really a handy way of making images. And then a one tip that was uh, mentioned in my video about the 20 millimeter lens, because it doesn't have MF clutch, which I usually use quite a bit. But there is a workaround, which I think was pretty cool. And Valdis Krebs, for example, was one who made that comment on that video. Thanks for that. And I really love when people are making comments about their workflow, their tips and tricks. So always 
when you watch the videos, go to the comments. There are a lot, a lot of use, useful information in there. But this one I think was very handy because I've really not that much used the SAF plus MF because I've found it to be a bit awkward when, when I'm holding the camera from the lens like this and a slight movement on the focusing ring will ruin the focus if, if I'm not really careful. But if you don't have the MF clutch, that's a good way of adjusting the focus and using the manual focus. First, the camera will use autofocus normally, and then you will use man manual focus and press the shutter button all the way to the end to make the photograph. And that will make the kind of like the lack of MF clutch a lot easier to use. The other way, if you don't have the MF clutch on your lenses, is to assign manual focus to a, to a button. That will also help you a bit. Or quite a lot, actually. It's it's a lot easier than, rather than go to the menus every time to switch to manual focus, you can just press a button and you will have manual focus. That's also a good way. Do you have any tips about autofocus and how much do you use manual focus in your photography? Please let us know in the comments down below. And here are some more videos about focusing. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.